Our next act, guys, is our first lady of the night. <laughs> Tonight, I mean. <laughs> and uh, she's fantastic, very funny, and single. She's also from Mitcham. So, guys, if you fancy the excitement of going out with a girl who could definitely knock you out, <laughs> then I recommend you give her a shout later. Our first lady of the night is Gemma Beagley. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm, I'm in that awkward place between middle and working class and that my parents had jobs but uh, they smoked, they spent all their money on cigarettes, we had fuck all when we were growing up so that's where the accent comes from. Um, but despite the accent you will be hearing some quite highbrow stuff tonight so just you know pay attention. Right so uh, pornography, right so. Right so they've got porn for like straight men, gay men, gay girls, transgenders, bi's, They've even got porn for kids, uh, which is and and, and 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 they just got nothing for a, for a straight girl. Um, and in my research on the uh, the massive porn catalogue that's aka the internet um, for for porn for straight girls, um, I stumbled across um, only only one thing, which was uh, a taster for a a story, an erotic story. Here goes, <coughs> female friendly. <laughs> he plunged his massive brown cock into her bald cunt. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> Why is it brown? <laughs> and, uh, and also, as part of you know, the expression bald cunt should only really be used for a follically challenged idiot like, I don't know, Cheryl Cole or <laughs> So yeah, the, 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 uh, it did continue to say uh, that uh, it was only now that she truly realised what a Brazilian was for. <laughs> like, anyone has any trouble understanding what the point of a bikini wax, you know, I just imagine this girl going in and going, well, okay, can you painfully strip the hair out of my genitals? I'm not quite sure why. But, you know, <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, the, the hunt kind of stopped there. I was looking for hours. I was knackered, I tell you. And um, I was talking to a mate, and he said, "Well, why don't you give it a go yourself? Why don't you try and write some uh, some some female-friendly erotica?" So, uh, based on my last sexual experience, um, I, I gave it a go. Um, now, I just sort of say that, that that I gave up smoking just over a year ago um, because I thought I was losing out on men. Um, but then, in the in the in the, the months that ensued, I put on about fifteen stone. Um, <laughs> And I, and, I, and I only got laid once. I mean, I say I got laid. Uh, a man prematurely ejaculated onto my belly. <laughs> uh, well, I was dating him at the time. I'm just unstrained. <laughs> I, I don't just go around with my top virgin men on the verge of orgasm. <laughs> Seagulling, they call it. <laughs> But no, this, this guy, he left, he left pretty sharp and he was quite embarrassed and I was sort of there, waving out the window, holding back the tears, wiping away the spunk of the geese he's wrapped by. <laughs> so I posted that anecdote on a, on a website and uh, got a few hits, uh, but mainly comments from housewives telling me how I can get spunk out of a polyester cotton mix. <laughs> It's always handy to know, let me know if you want to know that after. <laughs> so like, I got into stand-up comedy like, when I searched for romance and uh, uh, it, just, it just seems uh, that I've not so much had a sniff of a male since picking up this microphone for the first time a few months ago. Um, and, and, and you know what, I read somewhere, or rather I made it up for the purpose of this routine. But, uh, <laughs> by what they see, but women get turned on by what they hear, and uh, it does seem apparent, because the men on the circuit, I just see these women, they're just like, ah, just fly, just throwing them. I mean, James has had sex about 15 times since this gig started, I tell you. <laughs> you can't see what's going on back there. Uh, but apparently, a girl talked about how desperately single she is, wearing an ironic t-shirt from the shitty town she comes from. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not a turn-on for me. <laughs> 
when it, I mean, just all, for me, it became apparent last week I had a bad gig and I was chatting to this burlesque dancer afterwards and I was in a bit of a bad mood and I said to her, isn't burlesque just an excuse for fat women to take their clothes off in public? <laughs> <laughs> to which she, uh, she replied, she said, um, oh, isn't stand-up comedy just a, a reason for ugly women to be <laughs> smiled at? <laughs> <laughs> Touché. 